So today I will be taking you guys on a small adventure as I will be cooking at the cafe and bar called Inari Clean, where I will be cooking a small three course meal for 12 lovely people. So we start early on in the morning by cooking some homemade bread, which consists of three tablespoons of oil with one teaspoon of salt, as well as some milk that is heated up to about 40 degrees. Then in the flour you mix in the dried yeast and then you mix half of it through a sieve into the uh, liquid. Mix that together and once it's all incorporated then you just add the rest of the flour. You can use a whisk until it becomes not possible to use a whisk. Then you take over with your left hand and you figure out that you're not left handed and then you switch over to your right hand. We all wake up at some point, right? And then you finish it up with your right hand until it's all mixed together in a nice texture without being super sticky. Then you place it as a bowl in a bowl and then you cover it with plastic wrap and let it rest for 30 minutes. And while we wait for it to rest then we can do the welcome cards that we're doing for the customers or the guests today. And today my idea was to use some painting to spray it on the card with a straw and then I'm writing Welcome and then their name uh, in Hiragana and Welcome means welcome in Danish and we do that for every single guest so they get a unique design if you can say so and then once the dough has rested for 30 minutes then we take it out of the bowl and smash it onto the board Then you can cut it into four or six equally large sizes and then form it into a small baguette. And then cover them with plastic wrap and let them rest for another 25 minutes. Then we use a small beaten egg that we can spread out on the baguettes before putting it into the oven. And then we cut using a razor or a very sharp knife two lines diagonally on the baguettes just to give it a nicer texture once it comes out of the oven. And then on top you can either just leave it as is or you can use some Himalaya salt as I'm doing and some sesame seeds on top of the other ones uh, if you see that fitting for your baguettes but you can you can mix and match as you feel like of course then into the oven at 210 degrees for 13 minutes And once done, then you can just admire it for a second and move on to the dressing. And the dressing we are doing a very fine chopped red onion. And just chop it as fine as you can get it. And then in a small bowl, then you add 250 grams of mayo can be Japanese mayo just to give it a nice flavor if you have that. Then you add in 50 grams of hot and sweet chili sauce as well as one tablespoon of paprika, one teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of the minced red onions as well as a little bit of wasabi. Yes, 
wasabi is pretty good, especially the paste because it's actually about 95% of your regular horseradish, which is what we usually use. Then taste it and put it into the fridge until you need it. So for today's journey, then we need to go to the other side of the city. So we basically need to take the train, in other words. But let's not forget to bring our trusty knife, apron and Tokyo of course. But we will be going by train, so we need shoes. And today we will try to do omotenashi, which basically is the Japanese way of hospitality and is a way to treat and entertain someone sincerely and warm-heartedly without expecting much in return. And once we get to Namba, then we walk past this beautiful small shrine. And then we stumble across this cat, surrounded by the feeling of Japanese summer. So we have arrived at Inari Vin. Let's go in and cook some food. Today it is necessary with a mask because of the whole situation. But let's go. But we will start to assemble the shrimp cocktail with the dressing which we made at home. So for the shrimp cocktail then we need one slice of lemon. So you slice one lemon obviously and then you slice it down the white spot between the lemon and the zest. So in a glass then you put in letters around halfway up and then you top it with shrimps. Just fill it up with shrimps as much as you want to and then our lovely dressing and then one tomato slice and then the slice of lemon over the glass and then you can top it with a bit of dill. Cheers! It's not really a cocktail but cheers! How's the bread, Alex? And so the time has come for the guests to arrive and we have prepared for them. They start out with our starter, so the shrimp cocktail. And then we will be moving on to the main course, which is the breaded Danish patty with lemon butter and grilled asparagus. So if you haven't already, then you can see that video by clicking up here in the right corner. And then lastly, we will end the three course meal with the Danish traditional apple cake. Which is super nice as well. Really recommend it. <laughs> but 
But lastly, then we want to say thank you to Inari Clean for having us and for these lovely people to come even during these hard circumstances. But I'll of course see you in the next video.